Today we're doing an ASOS haul. I just got the sweatshirt from Sisters and Seekers. I have a review linked below. I still don't have a pot for my plant. I was kind of thinking that this might be too premature. premature. Spring is March 20th, which is like three weeks away in preparation for and so that you guys could get pieces before your spring photo shoots. Why do you really need new clothes? Surprisingly, there is some color in this. I got some pastels, which is as much color as I'm willing to try. I shopped an outfit, so I'm gonna try to sort this out so that we can put them together as outfits. I might actually be crazy because I got backup because I didn't want the outfit to not look good. And so we're trying on a lot of clothes today. So I think we're gonna start with these like pastel green pants and this lilac top. Spring haul, why not start with color? Not as sure as I thought it was gonna be, so don't know if this is gonna work as planned. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Well, okay. I just put on a blazer. This is tech. This is the blazer that I got, which is not a blazer at all. A shirt at best, but then like it has no button here, so then you're just kind of open. What I had meant to put on was this sheer button up, which was actually from the men's department. But now that we have this on, let's just talk about it. Uh, this is like a shirt. This is not a blazer. I'm mad that they marketed it as a blazer. I expected more from ASOS. By the way, this is the first time I've ever shopped on ASOS, so this is a very important first impression because it is not what it was advertised as. And I was going to get the whole set. Good thing I didn't. I would have been so disappointed. I would find a way to wear this. It'd be nice if you like you were vacationing somewhere really hot and you wanted to wear like, a blazer look. I'm thinking Tiki Torch dinner. This would be nice. I really like this. So this top is a men's small. I feel like this is a really good fit. This is what I wanted. And these pants, like the waist is extremely snug. It is molding to my body right now. Um, I got this in a US 2, I think, because it's a UK 6. And this is cool. I really like this. So this is the whole top pants bottom. The shape of these pants are really, really nice if you like wider hips or wider thighs or just, you know, you have more legs to love. This is what you want. Also, it fits me so well. I'm 5'2", which everybody asks in the comments. It's not too long at all, which is amazing. Like, it fits where it's supposed to fit. This is really cute. Such a cute outfit! Ooh, the back has these pockets that kind of accentuate, you know, the butt flaps are doing something to your silhouette. We love when the haul starts out with good stuff because then energy is high and everybody is excited for more. I'm excited. I think it makes your body look really nice. These pants, I just can't get rid of these pants. Don't buy it if you're tall because you'll be disappointed. And I love the color of these pants. The amount of color that I'm wearing right now is making me extremely uncomfortable. I feel like I need to change this top just to really appreciate these pants. Show you how this shirt looks. This is how long it is on me. So just in case that that purple shirt didn't work out, for some reason I thought green and green would look good and so I got a backup with the green shirt. This one is way more sheer. I don't think I like this one as much. I should know I do. I still like it. It's like fluorescent but it's still pastel. I don't think they look the best with these pants. I mean, they could work with the right outfit. I do have jeans that I got so we can try it with that. The material is way different from this purple one which is like a fine sheer shirt. This one has like you can see these stripes which i don't really love i'm a big supporter of always trying but not trying too hard this one's trying too hard to be sheer kind of thought they'd be the same green and so they would look like a unitard suit thing the little tank top i got is from misguided this is why i don't really love misguided like i feel like on their models it looks so much better than it actually does on you could also be a personal problem because i just don't have like the same body type i actually do like this it's very smooth very thin but not see-through next thing i want to try are these sweatpants they're like acid washed so they have a little bit of like this distressed look burn marks this is the asos design petite joggers i just like want to try the sweats from every brand just to see which one's the best i don't think these ones are it i'm gonna be honest with you they're not really thin it's just that the material isn't like fluffy it's just a cotton sweatpant there's no fleece lining you can see it's kind of thin and it just kind of hangs off your body but what i like to see in my sweatpants are a little bit of structure to give me a hip where there is no hip look tight here and they kind of just pockets kind of bulky like this is not helping me out at all you know petite is not even that short like, there's still like that weird gypsy pooling where i kind of look like aladdin and i don't really like these i will say though this color combo we're gonna go with something that I know is gonna look good. I got this orange sweatshirt that's kind of oversized. It's by the brand Bershka, which I only thought was sold like in Malaysia because that's the only place I've ever seen it when I went home. But I think it's like a European thing, which makes sense. I'm gonna be wearing this with one of these vests. I think it'll be a really cool look. This one is a puffer vest and this one's just a utility vest. Just really nice. I can't tell you how soft it is inside. It's not super thick, but it's still like lined with fleece. So it's really fuzzy. And it's a perfect amount of oversized. I love when it can come for my butt 
the pockets don't meet they're just side pockets in a hoodie i've actually never seen a hoodie with just like side pockets this is so cool i really like this and the color is really nice it's kind of like an orange sorbet i have two separate pockets in a sweatshirt I got this in a small, I don't know if I said that yet. Um, I don't know what came over me, but I was shopping in the men's department. So both the vests are from the men's department. The men have good stuff. I take everything I just said back. Ideally, this would be a really cool vest. It's just with this sweatshirt, it's not working out. Small actually fits me really well. Yes, with the orange fluorescence, yes. Crossing guard vibes. Oh my god, I got this in the extra small. I feel like I should have gone up in size. Okay, if I had gone small or medium, I feel like the armpit holes would have fit well with this sweatshirt. I feel like this look is not looking as I planned it to look. Let me tell you the thought process for this. I was very interested in getting a vest because I just think vests are cool now. So it makes a lot of sense. It keeps your chest warm, but then you don't sweat. The armpits are exposed for the breeze. Look like a marshmallow, like a peep that got covered in like an extra layer of marshmallow. Remember a few minutes ago when I was like, let's move on to something I know is gonna look good? I keep pinching myself trying to rotate this sleeve into place. These are collusion jeans, which I feel like everybody raves about, question mark, maybe. But they looked really cool and they had very specific sizing. They actually had the sizing like length and waist and they had so many different ones. So when you shop on ASOS, it'll say like inclusive sizing. So I got a 24 waist and a 26 length, I think. So I got 24 because there's no more 25 and I don't think I can get these up. Oh wow, okay. The waist does fit really, really nice. Like once I got it past, I was like, wow. But then I looked in the mirror and saw how the ends are fitting on me. Like I thought I was short, but I didn't know I was this not short. I guess I'm a taller short person. I think a 28 would have been better for me. But that is so nice to know that they have made jeans this short, inclusive of the short girls. Thank you. These would have been really cool. I'm just gonna say that right now. I don't know if you can see that, but that thing is separating. I'm just trying to envision how great this would have been if I got my actual size. It would have been loose, you know, but then still tight. Let's talk about this top. <laughs> I like this top a lot. Can't go wrong with the nice long sleeve. As you know, this is very flattering, this little V thing. Kind of like a 50s like house mom vibe. I love the color of this top. It is kind of stiff though. Like when I was trying to rotate my sleeve. Actually, I think I did just get too small of a size. I got a size 2. My top is like a little bit broader than my bottoms, so size 2 is usually like teensy bit too small so i would say their sizing is true to size i feel like i'm going to start shopping on asos now for their jeans if you want to see like a short girl asos jeans haul rather specific i'd be happy to do one it's getting very hot in here the next one i was thinking more like cold springtime i'm gonna need a jacket well under the jacket we have this black set it's not actually a set it's just a black top and biker shorts i don't actually have biker shorts biker shorts are so hard to get which is why i don't get them because they're never like stretchy enough get thick enough. Companies are like, these are just short leggings. Let's make them shitty. So I got an extra small. I don't really have that much stretch. It's like bunching up over here because I'm trying to get it at like the perfect mid length. That's one of those elastic things up here. It's not like a compressive waistband, which I don't really love because I think the compressive waistband is very helpful and flattering. <laughs> these butter shorts aren't bad. Here, let's check the swatch. Oh, these aren't see-through at all. This is why it's hard to buy black because it looks great in person, but not in pictures. There's like this under piping, piping that I was talking about. It's just kind of eh. I'm obsessed with like the corset bustier type of looks and I just wanted something that was like wearable for like more every day. I feel like I'd be happier if I had a different color just so you could see actually what it was doing here. On to like the main part, which is the coat. This is from the petite section, so I figured it would fit me really well. I love long coats. If you know anything about my channel, I continue to get trench coats. When you're small, you can drown very easily. A very generous leg split. This is perfect for spring. It's like warm, but like not too warm. Also, I feel like great for fall, so just like a warmer winter. Online, it said something about scuba material. It has an interesting flop flop to it. It's really soft though. I really like it. It's not like swimsuit material. That's not what the scuba material means. I'm not sure what it does mean, but I know what it doesn't mean. I feel like this color is such a spring color too, but like toned down to just ease into the color. Blackable quality to it. It's definitely thick and has some weight to it, so it will keep you warm if you're like in the East Coast area. I love these coats because I feel absolutely posh right now. I feel like I could just walk around with like a coffee in my hand and maybe walking a poodle super random but i got this from costco and i tend to put like bags of chips and stuff in my room for what purpose i don't know because then i just eat it all the time does my ass look fat just looks like i'm peeing on a plant it's like a tiger print looking thing it looks really good on the model and so i thought why not just try it so this is the top i mean cute 
I'm like not sure what's going on in this haul anymore. This is why you don't step out of your comfort zone. Because then you're not disappointed. Like, is this even look good? I can't tell anymore. Okay, I'm editing this right now. I just wanted to say that I think I'm going to start wearing this print. I feel like it's a very nice print. And like an easy one to match with a lot of colors slash neutrals. I think it does a lot for the outfit. It is so uncomfortable. Like, it is definitely, you're bound in here. I got an extra small, I think. These would be really cute, like night out type of tops i'm imagining if i went out i would be sweating and this would be extremely uncomfortable like it's uncomfortable here it's uncomfortable in the armpits because it's just like it sticks to you before i take this contraption off here it is in the sun so you can see all the details i'm stuck like i can't get this off you know when you can't get something off it gets sweatier and then it just like sticks to you even more and then it's just very messy is what's happening right now as you can see now i'm in a suit always wanted these like cropped blazer sets because i think they look so cute i think they're so different i guess because most people just like don't wear these around i do think that this gathering makes it look super weird if this was just a nice flat panel it would look way more put together i adore the color color is on point i think the shape of the shorts is throwing me off because these are way too big this is in a size two which is like an extra small and it's this big so i'm just wondering why i really like the top i think the top is really cute i also got the top in a two and the shoulders fit perfectly they're slightly padded which i love because i feel like that adds a nice shape to your body the material of this is actually very nice it's actually a suit material this was meant to be like more of an oversized boxy look i don't know if i'll keep it just the waistband of the shorts is really throwing me off like if this was just normal i would be in love with it top and the bottom meet too close to each other so there's no little strip of skin to show that you have a waist yeah i hope you enjoyed it was very hectic on my end i felt a little bit stressed i hope you like this video and if you did make sure you like and subscribe for mall haul that was a weird way of saying it see you in a later one bye